princes and ministers, ye nobles and chiefs of the army, ye professors and priests, ye people of Ethiopia, look ye upon our emperor Haile Selassie I, descended from the dynasty of Menelik I, who was born of Solomon and the queen of Sheba. Sheba, 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 Sheba. Whoa. This one is gonna hit you on a subliminal frequency. It's like this. Yeah, man, my name is Exodus. Some people call me the movement. Uh, basically, I was born and sing. Right? Moved to St. John at uh, seven years old. Uh, currently living on St. John. I've uh, been doing music since about 2005. Uh, seriously. Loving it every minute of it, you know what I'm saying? If it isn't reggae, it wouldn't be anything else. It's just what I grew up around a lot, you know? Uh, it reflects a lot of positive messages uh, with no disrespect to any other genre of music, you know I mean? It all boils down to the artists and, and what they're trying to actually convey, you know what I mean? To, to the audience, you know what I mean? But for me personally, reggae reflects a part of who I am and who I grew up around, you know what I mean? And, it's just roots, you know what I mean? A lot of culture, a lot of positive messages are some of the things that I learned from reggae, you know? so I want to also be able to reflect that in my music to my audience. I get a lot of influences from people, places, things, you know what I mean? It don't, it don't always boil down to a person, you know? I, I could get positive influences from nature, just being on the beach or something, just cooling out where I am right now, you know? Around good people. Artists that I like to work with is uh, Pressure, Nayora, Versati 2, Batch. Um, I'd like to collectively work with a banner like Midnight as well. I believe that my music is a reflection of who I am. I'm very conscious about the messages that I want to convey. I'm very conscious about how I want them to go across. So I think about several different dimensions of how a listener would actually listen to my music. You know, so I'm very conscious about it. I'm not going to uh, say certain things and I don't care about it later, you know, because uh, I have also have my image to uphold as well as a, as a person, as an artist, as an individual. One of my biggest goals right now is to help promote a lot of local artists and musicians. I think that's my biggest goal outside of, of everything. Like, it's not about me, about my music. It's about us collectively as a whole. Uh, I want to support uh, the next generation of artists come up and I want to teach them what I know. I want to create a platform for them. And it's, it's not just I, 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 but we. There's a team of people that are working together, you know what I mean? That are trying to accomplish this goal, you know? And we have something collectively called uh, the RAS event. And that's Roots Rock, Reggae, R&B, Rap, and Sound. And what it is, it's like a platform that helps local artists to have a venue, somewhere they could perform, and, and basically show their talents as well. And, and they also get proof, like spruced up and they learn things from the, the elders who have been in the music to help them become professional artists themselves. Eventually we want to turn it into a non-profit organization so that we could be able to help with federal funding to be able to groom the next generation of artists coming out of the Virgin Islands because we got a lot of talent here, you know what I mean? And I hate to see it go to waste. You know what I'm saying? So we have come together and we want to accomplish this goal for the whole entire Virgin Islands and even abroad. You know what I'm saying? We got to culminate the next generation of artists. We got to get them out there. You know, what I mean? we got to help them. You know what I'm saying? Too much talent going to waste because if you got, if you have a talented individual, right, and they ain't doing nothing, they might end up getting into negativity. We're gonna try to help you. I'd rather see that happen than somebody be on the street busting a gun or, or doing something negative. You know what I'm saying? Farai means a lot of things to me. Uh, as a Rastafarian, it means a lot to me. Uh, it means a lot to me that it's for all righteous individuals. And we are all righteous individuals in our own sense. You know, boys, just to find the righteousness within oneself and bring it out. You know, we, we human beings, we have the potential to be righteous. We just have the, to find it within ourselves. That is the difficult journey. But Farai means a lot to me, not only as a clothing line, but I believe that it's something that is positive, something that will reach individuals, not only because it's a, a clothing or apparel, but it's just the mission, you know what I mean? What it means, 
you know, so it's a very powerful thing to me.